Hello guys, it is Razorland here and welcome to Black Ops 3 Mods Weekly. Black Ops 3 Mods Weekly is where I take the top 5 most popular maps on the Steam Workshop for the previous week and I showcase them in a video every single Friday. And in today's number 5 spot we have COD 4 Shipment Zombies Halloween by You Always Win Zombies. Now, Halloween's kind of gone and done now, it's kind of finished, but I'm guessing they were working on this map for a fair amount of time. They didn't really want to just end it off without actually releasing it, and they made it Halloween themed, so why not keep it Halloween themed? The map basically features the original COD 4 shipment layout, redesigned in the style of a zombies map and Halloween. It has spooky custom sounds, a zombie counter, eight perks, soul tanks, a viable ending, George Romero, no perk limit, no dogs, and a shootable easter egg for a pack a punched weapon reward. The map's pretty awesome, pretty standard layout. If you want to play COD 4 Zombies on shipment, you basically, you can play it on this map. It's That's all I really have to say about it. It's a good map, it's fun to play, there's an ending. It's a map you can just go ahead, have some fun with friends on, have some fun on your own on, and it's a fun map. And you always win, they always make amazing maps. So this map is definitely still an amazing map, and uh, I enjoy it a lot, I really do. Do you love COD 4, but you also love exosuits? Well, MP underscore vacant by Ra G. Okay, let's pause this whilst I'm editing this. Ra G. Ra G. It clearly says rage there, you fucking idiot. This map is COD 4 vacant, but in the style of Black Ops 3, and you can still use all your exo jumps. Obviously, with the COD 4 remastered, it doesn't have exo jumps, but if you want to play with exo jumps, or if you don't have Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, you can play Black Ops 3's version of Vacant. It's essentially a COD 4 remake. I don't know why we're getting so many COD 4 remakes in this list so far. Both of the things that have been showcased are COD 4 remakes, but it's still a pretty cool map. Uh, it doesn't look very finished, though. I feel like it's just a little bit of a, you know, fun project to do. It's not the best. Uh, it's not the best remake, it's not really, it's a kind of just the layout, the layout's really been remade, he's put some textures in, but it doesn't really look finished overall. The layout and the design is pretty much exactly the same though, so if you do want to play Shipment on Black Ops 3, then this mod is for you. Next up, we have Pac-Man Halloween Zombies by You Always Win Again. So, another Halloween themed zombies and another You Always Win thing another you always win map because you always win seem to make amazing maps but this one has spooky custom sounds a zombie counter eight perks soul tanks viable ending george romero no perk limit no dogs and a shootable easter egg for a pack punch weapon sounds very familiar doesn't it they do seem to make very similar maps but they're all very themed maps, so it's pretty cool. And this map's actually really awesome, because you can teleport to different areas, and you're in, like, a maze, and it's actually a really, really cool map. Um, I actually had a lot of fun recording on this map. Um, I, didn't I think this map I recorded for the most amount of time, because I was actually really enjoying it, and I had a fair amount of fun on it. So, it's a really cool map. It's Pac-Man themed. you got little Pac-Man related Easter eggs in it, and I like that. It, I think it's pretty cool. It's a great map. It has timed gameplay as well, so essentially, you're in the game. Once you're in the game, it's non-stop action. You can't just, you can't have a break. You can't go and buy some guns. You can't go and, like, have a break to pack a bunch. You're always going to be killing zombies. There's not really any breaks in this. It's just timed gameplay, so it works really well with the UGX mod as well, because you can essentially play gun game and stuff if you really want to on this map. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much an awesome map, Pac-Man Zombies by You Always Win, number 3 spot. In the number 2 spot, we have Dragon Ball Zombies Beta by Devartimus. Now this map is really, really small, but I kind of like that. It's nice to play a little small kind of map, but it's a small, it's not a box map. That's what I like about this map. It's not a box map. It's a really beautiful map as well. Very, very, very bright, which is a little bit annoying that it's bright. But it's still, you know, it's it's there. It's 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 a nice looking map, and I like that. I like that with the map. There's not a lot to do on the map, but there is some awesome scenery around the map. You have a massive city where you can see, and you have the inside of the house where you can buy the thunder gun, you can buy the ray gun off the wall. So you're not really going to get bored in this map. I didn't manage to see any viable endings anywhere, so I don't know if there is a viable ending. But you can just go and get to a really high round if you want to. It's a good map nonetheless. But you know, I really want to see. Kind of, I, I don't know, we haven't really seen some amazing custom zombies maps yet. And it seems like mod tools are kind of like, people are starting to sort of, you know, fall off mod tools and starting to forget about mod tools because there haven't been some amazing custom zombies map, which is very annoying. I'm kind of, it's kind of really annoying that that's a thing. 
Hopefully we can see some insanely good custom maps, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Dragon Ball Zombies Beta is still a cool map to play, especially if you like the series Dragon Ball Z. I never personally watched it, so I can't say anything about it, but if you really, really like it, then I guess this map is perfect for you. A lot of themed maps are noticed in custom zombies as well, like we have the Super Mario one, we have the Pac-Man one, you just get a load of theme maps in zombies. I want to see something original as well, it's kind of something I want to see. Hopefully, we'll get some of those maps soon. And in the number one spot, we have a game mode called Onslaught by Exilozzi. I think that's how you say his name. Who knows, to be honest, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of what it says in the workshop. Onslaught is a wave-based game type, where you play as a remaining survivor of a failed strike team. You must hold out against the robotic Onslaught for as long as possible. The game mode allows 5 failures until the map ends. If you survive to rave 30, then the robotic Onslaught will have been squashed and you will win. The mod is designed as a cooperative mode, but you can in fact play it solo, or you can play it with 18 people if you really want to. I like the idea, I think it's very very fun to play as well, I like how there's, you know, extra things that are going on in the map as well, you get like raps coming in, you can have Cerberuses, you can have like missiles coming at you, it's, there's not just like the uh, robot zombies coming to attack you, or the um, GI units I guess is what they actually are. It works on every single map that comes with Black Ops 3 or any custom map that, you know, supports Team Deathmatch. So it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool map. I wouldn't recommend playing it on the map that I tried to play it on, Micro, because you can just fall off the map at any time. Not very fun when you're doing that and playing this game mode. Other than that, it reminds me of the Modern Warfare 3 kind of survival mode, although it's not, it's like a survival mode mixed with zombies. It's zombies in multiplayer maps, but like an improved version of it I guess it's not just like building barriers and stuff and like buying perks and stuff it's like kind of a wave based time thing where you know these robots are coming at you with extra things and you just have to basically survive but that's going to wrap up this episode of black ops 3 mods weekly i hope you enjoyed this one sorry for rushing this one i guess you could say i do have a lot of college work to do but then again when do i fucking not thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye